When you receive your ProCare Touch, there will be an assortment of other items in that box, and we're going to go ahead and go through that. We also receive our ProCare Touch. We can remove the packing, and as you take it out, you will notice a little USB cord hanging down. This is what your fingerprint reader is attached to. And there's also a protective screen on there, which will be no problem to pull away. There's also a power cord. And a RJ45 connection cable that you would use for a door controller. If you don't have one now, make sure that you don't get rid of it. You may, in fact, need it for later. We'll go ahead and put this to the side for the moment. There's also a smaller box that comes inside, and when you open that up, it's the other part of the power cable. So we will see this, which goes along with this thicker black cord that'll simply get plugged in. I would also like to talk for a second about some of the connections that we have available on the ProCare Touch. We have a CD port that you could plug in, an external CD drive, however it is proprietary, and you would have to receive that from the manufacturers of the ProCare Touch. We also, for a little more ease of access, have four USB ports that you could plug in an external CD drive there. We have a network cable plug, which would work with your network cable, which we don't provide. And then we also have four COM ports. We have an external monitor plug, and a power cable, and the actual power switch. You will see this tiny little symbol, and it's a very small button. So remember, when this is mounted on the wall, you're going to feel below the fingerprint on the bottom for a very small plug. That is your power button. Now we're going to take a second and look at our wall mount, or desk mount, pieces. So looking at these parts in a little more detail, this is what's going to attach to the back of the ProCare Touch. And you do have some cords holes here that you'll be able to put your cords through once it's in, all put together. And then here are your screw holes. So it's going to be mounted different ways depending on how we're mounting either to the wall or on the desktop. This is going to attach to the wall or it won't attach to anything other than this if we put it on the desk. But you'll see the screw holes here as well. So this is our studded adjustment plate, and you'll notice the screw here. And then this is our three-hole adjustment plate. They actually go together. It would fit in there together. This is going to be different levels of adjustment, depending on how much lean you wanted. And then we have our tension knob, which would securely fasten these two pieces together. You will also see a cord guard. This is actually going to mount to the bottom of your ProCare Touch in order to protect those cords from little hands being able to pull them out. We also include two zip ties in order to keep the cords together. And there you have the pieces of our mounting assembly. I wanted to put a piece of protective foam here just to make sure that we're not going to harm the screen. So as we determine how it is that we want to assemble this, I think we're going to start with the desktop mounting instructions, which means instead of the fingerprint reader being in my upper left hand corner, I'm actually going to flip this around and my fingerprint reader is going to be in my lower right hand corner now. I want to show you this mounting plate. We have two little hooks here. We want them to come up from the bottom. So as we lay it flat, we will have a latch in order to put our other mounting plate on. We will also notice that there are some vents on the top of the, the ProCare Touch, as you see again, and we want to make sure that we allow airflow through that. So when we put this on, we can match up our screw holes in the middle, and you will see that we're going to put a screw right above this sticker, and then we're still going to have these holes available to put some cords through at a later time. So we take our little bag of screws, and we grab a screwdriver, not included,
and we just quickly mount our plate. Now we have the mount plate attached with all four screws. We have our holes available to push our cords through, which is what we're going to do now. And again, this is where your network cable is going to go. We're going to feed it through the hole and then in. We're also going to take the power cable, which we had earlier, and feed that through the hole and plug in here. Of course, if you had a door controller, you would use the adapter that we discussed earlier and plug that into the COM port. Or if you had an external CD drive, you would put it in here. Or if you had another USB port connection. Because all of the ProCare touches do include a fingerprint, we're also going to plug that in at this time. Again, feeding through the holes and plug into the USB port. Now we're going to attach the cord guard, which is just under our plate on top. And it may be a little bit of a tight squeeze. You might want to have an extra hand. And we just apply the two screws. As you can see, now that does provide protection against anybody pulling out the cables. Now for the desktop assembly, we're going to go ahead and take our base mount, which is what you would attach to the wall if that was the case, flush against the wall. So you'll see that there are two little slots. And remember those two little tabs that we were just talking about? That's what connects here. So we're going to bring the cords out of the way, we're going to latch these on and bring it forward. Now I'm going to bring over our tension knob and our two adjustment plates. As I separate them you will see on these adjustments plate there's a little lip. The lip goes just opposite. So again, the lip is up and we're going to go just opposite as it hangs. And the same thing for this one on this little plate down here by the fan exhaust. In and that way. Now you just take that screw and you're going to fit it in to one of those holes and take your tension knob and screw that on. And you can see how that tension knob is now on holding these two plates together and these two plates together. Oops. And here we have our ProCare Touch. Now at this point, we'd want to remove our protective coating. And remember, the power button is on the side with the fingerprint reader all the way down. There's just a tiny little button. I went ahead and turned it on. It'll take just a second. And remember, this is not just for ProCare check-in. This is a full-fledged computer. Now you'll want to make sure that your computer is in fact connected to the network and that ProCare is now installed.